everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Guess what? Optifine is now compatible with Forge in Minecraft 1.18 and in this video I'm going to be going over exactly how you can download, install, and set up Forge with Optifine, get it all set up together so you can install other Forge mods with Optifine. So that means if you want to install mods like Biomes of Plenty or World Edit in 1.18 with Optifine you can do that once all those mods update. At the time I'm recording this video, those mods, World Edit and Biomes of Plenty, aren't updated to 1.18 but once they do update we'll do videos on it so be sure to subscribe to know when those awesome mods and many other awesome mods update first and foremost though we do have this from our sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting or the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we actually have just apex so much that we also our own server play our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your own minecraft server look no further than apex minecraft hosting again that's the breakdown.xyz slash apex first link down below anyway let's go ahead and get optifine and forge installed together Obviously, we're going to need to download both of these, so we'll start with Optifine. You can find all these linked in the description down below, by the way. Optifine, Forge, even Java, which we will need to talk more about later on in this video. So if you're having issues with Forge and getting mods installed and things like that, then we're going to be able to help you later in the video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, though, and continue on downloading this. Once you get to our website here, scroll down and click on the green Download Optifine button. That'll take you to Optifine's official website, where we want to go ahead and click on the Mirror button right here under Minecraft 1.18. So under Minecraft 1.18, we have Optifine, and we can click on the Mirror your button. Then we want to go ahead and click on the purple download button right here. That's going to download Optifine in the bottom left, right like so. We can then keep it on Google Chrome. It might be in the server screen on my Mozilla Firefox, by the way, and you'll need to save it there. However, go back to our website and click on that green download Optifine button again. The reason is because we also need to make note of this. Forge right here, where it says Forge 38.0.14, is the guaranteed compatible version of Forge for Optifine, right? Not every version of Forge is compatible with Optifine. However, most of the time, the most recent version and things like that is compatible. But if you have issues after you've installed Optifine with Forge, come back here and check this version and make sure you're getting this version that's listed on Optifine's website. So now we need to get Forge. To do that, you can obviously go to the description down below. That takes us to our in-depth guide for installing Forge. And this will work with Optifine, by the way. Like installing Forge via, via this tutorial will work with Optifine. But anyway, once we're here, go ahead and click on the green download Forge button. And that will take us to Forge's official website. Now, as you can see, 38.0.15 is the most recent version of Forge. And if 1.18 isn't selected, you can select it on the left-hand side. And then once it says MC 1.18 there, you're good to go. But this right here is the version version we were talking about. Now, as you can see, 38.0.15 is actually one version off. So 38.0.14 is one version older than what is currently the latest release of Forge. So how do we find that? Well, you click show all versions down here at the bottom. And as you can see, there it is, 38.0.14. This is the most recent compatible version of Forge with Optifine. Once you've found this, go ahead and click on the installer button. And by the way, the version will be different most likely when you go to download Optifine and Forge. So the version is different than what we have here, that's perfect. It's actually a good thing because that means you'll have less bugs. However, when you do click on the installer, it will take you to this page and stop. Don't click anything in this page whatsoever. Just put your hands up in the air. Do not click anything because you just need to click the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. That's the only thing you want to click on this page, nothing else. So just click the red skip button in the top right after about 10 seconds. It will appear. You can click that red skip button and then in the bottom left, you have a file called Forge 1.18. As you can see, there it is, downloading on Google Chrome. It's 100% safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you can save it in the save your screen, again, as long as it has Forge 1.18 in the title. If it doesn't, by the way, you didn't click the skip button. Go click the skip button. Only click the skip button. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get these files. To get them, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left. Click on that, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder. Oh, I didn't, it didn't search there. Hold on. <laughs> that was weird. Type in downloads. There we go. Search for a downloads there. You have this downloads file folder. Click on that and it will open up the downloads folder. Then we just need to take Forge and Optifine and drag them to our desktop. Once these are on our desktop, we can go ahead and get Optifine and Forge installed. We actually want to start off with Forge here. And by the way, if these logos look different, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. But let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. Now in some cases, that will work. But in some cases, you won't have Java 
at all. Or you will have Java and it still won't work. In that case, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine, like Forge, and Minecraft servers. I know you're not starting a server here, but if you ever did start a server, you would need Java 17 for that to run. But for this tutorial, Java 17 is required for Optifine and Forge. And in the description down below, you can find this tutorial, which is how to download and install Java for Minecraft server and Minecraft mods. Once you're here, click on the yellow download button and it will take you to the Java download page where you want to click on Windows here and then click on this like link next to X64 installer, right? This link right here is what you want to click on. Once you click on that, it installs like any other program. It should be very familiar. Now, for most of you, that will probably work. You'll be able to open up Forge at that point. However, if you can't, that means you need the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, right like so, basically making them work all happy together. Now, with that, you should be able to finally open up Forge, and it should also have fixed your logos after you run the jar fix. Now, let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With again, click on Java, and click OK. And now the mod system installer for Forge will open, where all we need to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's going to download and install Forge. If for whatever reason this does not work, it's because you've not played Minecraft 1.18 without any mods or anything like that. So go do that. Go play Minecraft 1.18 with no mods, no anything else installed, and then come back and this will work. Nevertheless, though, it worked for me, as you can see, because it says successfully installed client profile for Forge. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK and it will close out of the Forge installer. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we can go ahead, select Forge, and get Minecraft open. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher, and once we're here, we can go ahead, and as you can see, select Forge. Now ours is auto-selected next to the play button. If yours isn't, click the little arrow next to the play button and select Forge here, then click play. However, if for whatever reason you don't have Forge next to the play button when you select this drop-down box, what you want to do is click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked on the right-hand side. As you can see, we unchecked it, Forge disappeared, we checked it, Forge is back. Once it appears, go ahead and hover over and click play. Now for a few of you, you still won't have Forge, and in that case, you want to go ahead and click on the new installation button here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18 Minecraft survival and skyblock server. It's amazing. You should come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version, we want to go ahead and click this drop down box here and we want to select 1.18 Forge. You also want to make sure that that version number is the same as the one that we had back on the Optifine website. As you can see, 38.0.14 in this case, but yours is probably a different version number. And again, that's a good thing. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and select that and we can go ahead and change our resolution right like so. Now we want to go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And when we do that, we get this new Play.breakdowncraft.com profile with 1.18 Forge. We can now go ahead and hover over it, click the green play button. It's going to say, hey, you're about to play mod in Minecraft. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, we do. So you want to click that checkbox, click the green play button, and now Minecraft 1.18 will open up with Forge installed. From this point, it's very, very, very easy to install Optifine. So I will go ahead and meet you on the Minecraft main menu to get Optifine installed and then uh, kind of show you it's installed. And we'll be done. Super simple from this point. So I'll meet you after a quick jump cut. So we are on the Minecraft main menu. And as you can see, Forge is installed. In the bottom left down here, we have Forge 38.0.14, which is the version of Forge we needed from the Optifine website earlier. As you can see, that keeps coming back. And up here at the top, it does say Forge is in beta. That's the truth. So if you do have any bugs or issues or anything like that that arise, it's probably because Forge is in beta. Just let Optifine update. Let Forge update. Let these basically mods work out the kinks. And then eventually it will be... Uh, probably fixed. Nevertheless, though, once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we want to go ahead and click on the Mods button, and then we want to click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. Again, for the main menu, that was click on the Mods button, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. And then to install Optifine, all you've got to do is drag and drop it from your desktop into your Mods folder. And by the way, any other 1.18 mods that you have in here will work with Optifine seamlessly. However, I will say if you do have older mods, 1.17 or something like that, installed in your Mods folder, they will not work with Forge 1.18, so you want to make sure only one. 18 mods are in your mods folder to play Optifine in Minecraft 1.18. I think that all made sense. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and close out of the mods folder, and we do need to quit out of Minecraft and reopen it back up again, making sure we're opening it with Forge. However, if you did have to create a profile, it's already there now, so you don't have to worry about doing that again. It's actually relatively simple. You just want to make sure down here next to the play button, you either have your Forge profile or the profile you created, in our case, playdartbreakdowncraft.com, selected, and then you can click the green play button, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge and Optifine running together, which means you can run other Minecraft mods with Forge and Optifine. That's the big thing here, right? That's why everyone wants Optifine with Forge is so you can install other mods with it. It's that quick, it's that simple, and it's that easy to basically uh, get everything up and running and done and 
all of that. I don't, I don't know where else to go with that. It's just, it's that easy to get Optify and installed. And once we're on the main menu here, I will show you that it is in fact running and installed by going to video settings. I do want to mention one thing though. It is very, very odd how Optifine works with Forge. It's not going to be in the mods folder. It's just not going to appear there, right? And that's completely normal and what you should expect with Optifine and Forge. For some reason, how Optifine works with Forge, it never appears in the mods black area over here. As you can see, there's no Optifine over here. But if we click on options and then go into video settings, we have Optifine in the bottom left showing that it is installed as well as shaders and all of the other awesome things that you can get with Optifine. And of course, we'll jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com with shaders look at that aquatic survival looking good and optifine installed and obviously like i said you can install other forge mods here as well but nevertheless thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content and come play this on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace